Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back to the 7th episode of my playthrough of 7 Days to Die. Now in the last episode we took on the first 7 day horde. And all things considered I think we did pretty well. But uh, we really are at the moment very low on well, pretty much everything. And I'd really like to go into town and have a look and see what else we can find. So, basically, I just want to go on a scavenging run again. But before we do anything else, I, uh, I have to create my first sign. Because uh, this was something that I, I mentioned in a previous episode. And I, I kept recording and I completely forgot about it. But uh, the first name to be added to the Hall of Fame is my friend Russell Graham. He has been watching the series for quite a while. And uh, has been a, a subscriber on the channel for quite a while. So Russell, there you go. I'm sorry I didn't add it for you earlier. But uh, rest assured, I am a man of my word. I am a goat of my word. Now what we'll do is we're just going to grab a couple of supplies, a couple of essentials. I'm hoping I can, I have my pick here somewhere. Maybe I'm going blind. I do have a pick here somewhere. There it is. Pickaxe. Cool. Okay, so we've got a little bit of food. We've got quite a lot of meat. So we're not, we're not too bad off for food. But I would really like to see if we can gather some more supplies today. As you can see, we're yeah we're pretty pretty low on everything at the moment. But uh, I'll grab some more food. I'll grab some more water, uh, guns, anything that we can we can get our hands on in town will be an, an, a large advantage. Now in the last episode you saw I've started to put my base together, we've planted trees, we've made a farm, we've got the, the beginnings of civilization coming back. And as our base gets bigger and better, the game will get a, a, a little bit easier. I find the start of the game can be quite daunting for a lot of players because you, you really do, you start off, my, my supplies at the moment, I've got a club, I've got a bow, I've got uh, my um, trusty Beretta 9mm pistol. And uh, this isn't a lot. This isn't a lot of supplies, but it is a lot better than some of the other starts I've had. And we've got, we've got a good location for our base. We're close to town. We're close to supplies and materials that we need. We don't have a motorbike yet. That would probably be the, the one thing that would really make my life a lot easier. But, you know, it's uh, it's more about having, it's, more, it's all about location. If you can get a base in a good location, all of that stuff will come. We'll go and we'll raid the town and we'll, we'll find the books and supplies that we need. So we're not too bad off for supplies at the moment. But the game does have a, a pretty uh, pretty good difficulty curve and the game does increase in difficulty along with your character so as you, you you get stronger the game will feel a little bit easier then the new types of zombies will turn up and i just realized what i don't have is a uh, is a pickaxe go away you oh, sorry a uh, a hammer a uh, stone axe i'll get it eventually i got my pickaxe so that's fine We've got some stones. Just need some plants. Okay. So we've got everything we need right now. Um, I'll chuck that out. I don't really... I'm not really concentrating on getting that today. Scrap that. So what I'm really looking for today is uh, books number one. And uh, number two would be anything I can find in the way of tools. 
So wrenches would really help because I'm going to need a wrench if I'm going to build a motorbike. And I'm also going to need a wrench if I want to build a, a workbench. Now one really good place to get some stuff would be in this academy here. It's pretty big. So I reckon... Just having a look around and uh, sizing up my options. Oh, there we go. Speaking of options, there's a good one right there. That's my pig, zombie. So we cut this guy up and there'll be a lot of good food here. So yeah, three pieces of meat, nothing uh, nothing to write home about. But we are we're gonna we're gonna assault this school. Because um, oh there we go. So I can cross off one of the items on my list. That is a lot better pickaxe than the one I've got. So let's bust in here. This is actually pretty challenging to do. And it's probably going to take us at least half the day to properly uh, rob this place. Sorry, to acquire the materials that we need. We're not robbing, we're just appropriating. I've, uh, it's 2018, I've got to be careful with my, my language. There you go. They've already heard us. So me banging on the door probably wasn't the smartest idea. Now one thing that would really help is if I had a um, something a bit bigger than a, um, a wooden club. But uh, I can make do with what I've got. Whoop. This bow's it's pretty ordinary. As you can see, it didn't kill her, but it messed her up pretty hard. Unfortunately, these guys have heard. I'm going to try and take these guys out in the main hallway, give myself a bit of room to move. Nice shot, didn't kill him. But just about did. These guys will be breaking through that door any second now. And they're, they're doing my job for me. We can just crack this open. You can come out and play. Now, at the start of the game, it really feels like you've just got... This, this club is just pretty ordinary. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It takes multiple hits to the dome to drop one of these guys. Oh, we've got another one here. That's a love tap to the head, stealth attack, that did the trick. These nurses are also a nice source of medical supplies, obviously. They carry lots of them. Uh, antibiotics, uh, we've got a couple of those at home. But uh, you can never have too many, they're very hard to craft. So, I'll admit, I'll be the first person to admit, this is probably the least stealthy entrance I've ever made. I don't recommend barreling in the front door like a soccer hooligan, swinging a club, but, uh, oh, here we go, we've got a, speaking of soccer hooligans, we've got, we've got a crowd of them, we've got a crowd going that way, it looks like they've, they haven't noticed me, so it's okay, we'll let them continue on their merry way, so yeah, we've done this one, now, I'd really like to find some, here we go, bookcases, uh, I've already read that, Oh, there's some iron arrows. Very nice. Now, the school's a bit of a grab bag. It's, 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 it's got all sorts of stuff. Some of them have a library. Some of them have guns. Some of them have medical supplies. They're, they're pretty much a, a mixed bag. You can get all sorts of all stuff here. They, you just never know what you're going to find. It's, it's basically a larger version of a house. So, it's a nice way to... I think I'm going to... 
I don't want to get trapped by this large chick here. Whoa! Nearly got me. Sorry, big mama. I'm an equal opportunity zombie killer. Never let it be said that I discriminate against the undead. Now, these guys take a lot of hits to, to go down. I'm probably going to need to upgrade to something with a little bit more bite than this thing. Now this being a school, and I'm not making a uh, a uh, comment about the, uh, the things that you'll find in schools, but I have found a startling amount of, uh, of firearms hidden in the student lockers here. So uh, just just a, an odd fact, if you go and look through these lockers, you'll often find weapons and armor. So uh, I, I'd, I'd like to think that it was uh, it was this the children being prepared for the zombie apocalypse. They were just thinking ahead. But uh, yeah, it, it's a really good spot to get guns. A uh, school, <laughs> ironically. I don't know how you got up there. I'm gonna have a sleep. Uh oh. Okay, I've got my backup knife. Unfortunately, this does not do a hell of a lot of damage. So, oh, now I've got a bit of iron. Let's make myself a club. This time we're going to make it, um... Ooh, I can make a barb club. Oh. oh, I can make a spiked club. I don't know the recipe. Um... Hmm. Let's go with the barbed. We've still got eight forged iron. I just want to leave myself some forged iron to be able to to repair my pickaxe should I need to. Now we have got a forge, but we haven't got any any sand yet, which means I I can't make a glass jars yet. So we are going to have to rely on what we can loot. Some food for me. Oh, there's some honey. You want that? Just in case I get uh, get infected. Okay, and gunpowder. We definitely want that. You have a sleep there, buddy. I'm trying to... Whoa! Whoa! Trying to rob your your school. There's usually at least one gun safe. There's usually one gun safe lying around here. There's some painkillers. Um. The backup knife. Just grab everything for now. There we go. And, and in a school, we have a gun safe. Very interesting. Okay, so let's bust out the pickaxe, and now we're going to crack open this safe. So this is going to require a little bit of, a little bit of uh, elbow grease to get this open. But um, thankfully, I've got. I, I picked up this nice pickaxe earlier on, and as you can see, it's it's making short work of this. Now I'm hoping to find a hunting rifle or uh, a shotgun. A hunting rifle would probably be better for base defense. Come on, hunting rifle! Damn it! Well, I didn't find a shotgun, but I found part of a shotgun, so that's okay. I've got a, uh, I've got a, a nice new set of tools, though. a new shovel, new pickaxe. And before we go anywhere, let's uh, let's go and see if I'm right about these lockers. Oh, 
What is... Oh, okay. I'm still crafting this club. I always find a, a set of armor in here. Still taking a while. Let's have a look over here. Now, one of the really good sources of uh, what people don't do is they don't uh, scrap the clothing you find in here. They just look in here and then then they leave all of this stuff behind. So we're just going to scrap this. Drink that beer. Scrap that for leather. Don't need that. Scrap that for paper. Okay, so now what we do is we're scrapping all of the, this clothing. And that will turn into either scrap metal, uh, scrap cloth, or scrap leather. There's a lot of people that don't realize that uh, you you actually don't need to go and find animals for, for leather. You can just go and find a leather coat or a leather pair of boots or a hat, scrap that and you'll get some leather. Now, obviously, you won't get as much as what you would from an animal. Alright, you bad boy. You're going all Negan on her. Oh, wow. Okay. I like that. So, we've got ourselves some, some bullets. Let's reload. Nice. And we can make a hunting knife. Very good. So now we can actually get ourselves some decent weapons. And uh, now we can, when I harvest animals, I'm going to be able to harvest them properly. And our scavenging skill's gone up. Which is cool. Now basically scavenging is what I'm doing, just going through looking for supplies. Uh, the, the higher my scavenging skill, if I go and I look inside a container, it means I'm going to find better stuff. And I'm going to find more stuff as well. So instead of finding a level 50 pistol, I'll find a level 100 pistol. And instead of finding maybe 10 bullets, I'm more likely to find 20. It's that simple. Try and get a bit of room here. Now I love melee weapons, I love the the blunt weapons, because if you can get a good rhythm up, then you'll almost never get hit in a stand-up fight. As you can see, take a hit, back up, make sure you drink some beer, so if you do get hit, it won't stun lock you. So we've almost got a, uh, a full inventory already, we've done really well. And we're still on the bottom floor of this place. I'm I'm raking in the raking in the supplies. As you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of uh, scrap iron too. All that is going to be really super useful for for making spikes, and also for making more iron to make weapons like the one I'm using. This so uh, this club's doing real good. As you can see, it's wrecking them pretty hard. Uh, now bullets, depending on our luck, whether we can find ourselves a bullet kit. Uh, it's, I believe it's a, it used to be calipers, but now it's a tool and die set for making bullets. If we don't find one of those, we're going to be relying on whatever we can scavenge in the way of, uh, of ammunition. But uh, I tend not to rely on guns. I know a lot of people love, uh, if you ever watch Cage 848 he's one of my favourite YouTubers who, who does... Uh, he does uh, seven days to die. Uh, he he relies on on firearms a fair bit, um, and that's not a bad thing. I guess he just has a different style of play to me. Oh wow, there we go. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. So that's a uh, that's a crossbow schematic. We can now make ourselves a crossbow, which is one of the most primo stealth weapons you can use. So we, we absolutely roll them with one of those. 
I'll need, uh, if I am going to do that, I'm going to need some glue, and I'm going to need some, uh, I've got some duct tape already. So I've probably got most of the ingredients for making one in my inventory. What do we need? Crossbow. Okay, so I'll need, I'll need glue. That's the only thing I don't have. That's okay. Hopefully we can find some. Mine. So a lot of people, yeah, they don't they don't scrap the stuff, they just leave it or throw it on the ground. And this obviously does take a bit more time if you're scavenging. But the amount of stuff you can run you can walk out with from a, a looting run is actually quite impressive. Never um that stuff obviously I can't scrap. Okay, she's trying to come in from the outside. Good luck with that, lady. Well, we'll leave her to swing away. We're going to go and check out upstairs. If she breaks in, we'll take her out in, in due course. Try and get some more stealth kills. When I get a, um, we're gonna get a crossbow. If I uh, if I do a headshot with that, most of the time that's gonna take his head off. We'll leave that there. I can sell that crossbow schematic. Oh, there's a spare pistol for us. Nice. Um, what can I toss? Nothing really. That I can. All right. So we've got some we've got some nice supplies here. We've got a spare gun. We've got a crossbow schematics, and we've got everything we need to build said crossbow in our inventory apart from glue. I'm trying to take this guy out. So yeah, you, it, it takes a lot of time to get good at melee combat, and the the difference between a good player and a great player in this game, in my opinion, is someone that can really dance and weave and and, uh, and fight melee combat without getting hit. Because, uh, yeah, you really want to try and save your ammo for those situations where you've got a horde. If you're prepared, you use a stealth and you, you're good with a bow, then most of the time you're never going to need to use, uh, use a gun. At least until the radiated uh, zombies and the feral zombies turn up later on. Okay. Rank and file zombies, they're going to go down really easy. Even some of the, the bigger special ones, if, you, if you're if you a decent shot with a crossbow, there's no reason you can't take them out with a crossbow. And uh, depending on where you are, feathers can be quite easy to come by, so... look good. Now if I could find a, a rifle to go with that uh, rifle ammo then I'd be a very happy camper. Um, can I eat this? Yeah, it turns out I needed it anyway. Okay so we've actually nearly done this school. Big Mama. As you can see, my blunt skill's going up pretty fast. I'll try and get out of here because there's too many, too many uh, obstructions in there. I'll try and get some hits in on her before the other zombies make their way out. We got a breakthrough any second now. Have a seat, young lady. I'll be with you in a second. Oh, she's she's already brown bread. Yep, 
Yeah, so school's a nice grab bag. Bit of everything. Okay, leather duster. Have I got one of those? Is the question. No, I'm wearing a poncho. I probably don't need one yet. I'll scrap it for now. They're easy enough to, to get your hands on, should you need one. <clears throat> now, you probably haven't noticed, but uh, I've gotten quite a lot of cloth, quite a lot of leather as well. All that stuff is really useful. Cloth is uh, easy enough to find, but uh, leather somewhat harder to, to get your hands on later on. Because you, you have to find animals, and animals do respawn. But, yeah, once you hunt an area out, they can be, you can have a bit of a wait, so. I tend to always try and have a good supply of leather. Because you need it for, for forges. I've got one, but uh, with forges, uh, there's always uh, one is never enough. Is there anything out here? Children's playground. Even something as innocent as that can have a darker, more sinister uh, surprise in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, let's see. What can I toss? Sorry, Cash. So now I've got everything I can actually make a crossbow. The only reason why I'm not going to make one is because I don't have the supplies to make the bolts. So crossbow bolts are uh, can't be made out of stone. They have to be made out of the metal arrowheads, and that's fine because I've got heaps of those back back home so in terms of supplies I'm, I'm good for that okay we've looted this home so we are going to have to find a motorbike soon because I've looted most of these places out uh, steel shovel I might come back for that that could be useful later on but uh, I, do, I can't make steel yet <clears throat> uh, did we do this Let's have a peek inside. Doesn't look like it. Now one thing they've added that's interesting with POIs is some of them uh, have, have dogs in them. So I've actually had uh, dogs, they tend to turn up the most in churches and in also... Uh, little shops, like gun shops. Okay, okay, what's that? That's a challenge. Okay. okay I kill the wabbit. Okay, so we're going to go Elmer Fudd on some rabbits. Okay, let's get out of here. So it's only one o'clock in the afternoon, and we've actually uh, we've made a bit of headway. We've looted uh, collectively in this episode and the others, uh, all, all, almost the whole town. There's a little bit over there, some houses uh, which will be really handy to to check out. But uh, in terms of uh, in terms of looting, this town's nearly done. So, we, uh, obviously, loot does respawn, but it can take up to a a month of game time to respawn. So that means uh, 28 days from from now before uh, before that loot's going to come back. But uh, if you once you get a motorbike, it's not really a big deal. Because you'll be able to go out on a motorbike and uh, look for more POIs. There are more towns nearby. But we're not going to be worrying about that until we've looted this town out uh, in its entirety. Because uh, finding other towns on foot can be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Um... Now, if I can assemble this thing, there we go. There we go. Aha! Got myself a flashlight. That's going to be handy.
Oh, I don't know how that missed. It's nothing personal, I've just come here to rob your house. I don't need the the garden hoe. Now one thing you want to do, uh, one golden rule I'll give you, uh, it's a pro tip. Uh, out of everything that you find in towns, the most, the most, probably the one resource I will never ever throw out is this stuff here, this is brass. Now brass is rare as hen's teeth in this game. You can get some of it from looting cars, you can get some of it from breaking up um, breaking up different fixtures. But one thing that you will always need is brass. Now, anyone who hasn't watched The Walking Dead or read the comics knows that, uh, or won't know that, that brass is, is most commonly used, of course, in bullets. And uh, in the apocalypse, we have we we have to be able to craft some bullets. But uh, un until I can find the the right materials to do that, I won't be able to. But uh, until then, we're going to collect all the brass we can, because I always find myself running low on brass. Out of everything, I always find brass is the one thing I never have enough of. There are other ways around it. You can make shotgun shells. You can make, um, you can uh, use the use exploding arrows. But uh, if you want to, if you want to be able to use the 7.62 rounds or the nine mil, or uh, or if you if um, actually no, in the in the new update uh, they've taken 10 millimeter out for the SMGs. They all use nine mil. But uh, yeah, those two types of bullets are very handy. I I always keep a pistol on me because they just they're really good for all sorts of situations. Uh, it, it, anything but the larger zombie, they are going to go down to this thing. The pistol's actually quite a good weapon. A lot of people don't. Uh, they they underestimate its uh, its usefulness. Uh, until I, I get my hands on a uh, an MP5, I'll usually keep the, the pistol all the time. Oh, wow, Forge Steel. Nice. So that is super, super rare. <coughs> um, what can I toss? Hmm, what decisions, decisions. Um, I reckon... Hmm, I kind of need everything here. I reckon the glue. Could always come back for it later on, but um, the one thing, the one reason why I want that forged steel is when I get my hands on a wrench, I can repair the wrench with forged steel, and I can't make forged steel until a lot later on. So, so while my inventory is full up, that's fine. We're just going to keep looking around. We've got a couple of hours until night time. Looks like we've got. Um, a quiet bar here. Yep, pretty quiet. Let's crack open this bad boy. So I want to try and head back around seven o'clock. It's going to take at least a couple of hours for us to run back on foot. But um, I'm pretty happy with what we've got today. We're definitely on the, the start of having a, um, a nice sized base. And what we'll do uh, off camera, I'll, during the night I'll set up a, uh, a farm. In If you watch the previous episodes, I set one up next to the base off the ground. I'll also set one up on the roof. Oh yes, yes. Okay, so now we can make fuel. And we can make a scrap armor for our legs as well. Hell yeah. Okay, so that is really cool. We can now go to the desert and we can we can either mine oil to, to make our own petrol. And we can also uh, use animal fat and make fuel out of animal fat and, uh, and um, grain alcohol. 
So we can now make our own petrol. So when we get our hands on a motorbike, we're going to be set. So today has been incredibly, incredibly productive. Uh, no, that's all right. I can make a, I can make a, a uh, grill if I have to. That's the only thing I couldn't grab. Okay, so yeah, doing well. Let's uh, let's keep going because we've got a couple of hours till till night time, so we have to go back and we'll check out these houses along here. Okay, nothing uh, nothing too interesting. Oh, hello. Come to hang out, have you? So have I. Finish him off. Well, we've got a cowboy over there. And this is where you can find dogs. They often hide behind these seats. Let's go and see if we can stealth this guy. A bit of a love tap to the dome. Oh. One down. Ah, me see me, the other one. These, uh, the cowboys often carry, uh, oh, whoa, yes, the mother load. Look at that. 480 quality rifle. Hell yeah. Nail driver. All right, so, yeah, we've got to have one of these. No, 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 where'd he go? No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. He disappeared. Oh, damn. Cheated out of a... Oh, I should have just thrown out what I had in my inventory. I was trying to shuffle it. Oh, man, there's a kick in the nuts. I should have just tossed that spare cruddy pistol I had. I didn't want to throw out a gun. Damn. That was, ex that was the one thing I was really wanting. Not my smartest moment there. I won't see something like that come up again. Ah, oh, I feel so stupid. So there you go, pro tip. If you find it, something on the zombie's corpse and it's something good like that, and you have a low quality gun or something you, you're not sure if you want to throw out, just toss it. That would have been a that would have been a gun for the ages. I probably won't uh, I probably won't find something that good again. Not for a long time. But certainly not in this gun safe. I would have just been happy with any rifle, but... Ah. Oh, such is life. The body, uh, the body disappeared into the ether on me. Hunting rifle parts. The game's mocking me. A shameful display. So I'll have to throw those those pills out. Oh man, that's that 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 wasn't a kick to the nuts. That was a that was a kick to the nuts with a steel cap boot. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll finish searching this out and see if we can find. I doubt we're going to find something that good again, but. Keep going. 
So this is the next area we want. This is the last area of town we haven't uh, we haven't checked out. Certain zombies, uh, they they drop certain things. So cowboys are really good for revolvers. You can they can drop revolvers or rifles. Uh, your uh, army guys will often uh, drop uh, parts for the AK or the MP5. You've got um, some of the the large uh, uh, fat zombies or corpulent zombies for political correctness. Uh, will drop uh, food or uh, pistols. And uh, yeah, l later on in the game, they're more likely to drop a a, a gun, but. Uh, for reference, the reason why I'm so uh, I'm kicking myself so hard over that is a, a zombie dropping a blue quality gun like that is is very rare. It's, we're talking one in a thousand. Uh, but I just wasn't expecting him to glitch through the floor like that. It doesn't happen very often. I think it had something to do with the fact that he was on the stairs. Oh, mechanical parts. We definitely need those. Um, I'll need those for building a bike. Uh, Gunpowder is handy, but uh, I can make it pretty easily. What I should have done was go back home and drop this stuff off, but in any case, hindsight's twenty twenty. At least we've got some. We've got some supplies. We will get some more rifles as we go. We'll get something. Hopefully we'll get something that good drop again, but uh, definitely not not a common occurrence. I won't lie. But these uh, these wall safes are a really good spot for weapon schematics too. So now I can disassemble pistols and shotguns. So if we find any parts in the field, I can I can assemble a shotgun in the field and I can make pistols as well. Oh, nice compact bow body. We definitely want that. Sorry, steel arrows. I can always make more steel arrows. I can't find a bow very often. A compound bow. Lumberjack. Zombies with a fire axe, that's going to be interesting. I've got plenty of duct tape. So we're going to be able to make this new crossbow. That's the main thing. Because a crossbow is going to be... Probably going to be our main weapon. I tend to use the crossbow... Uh, Unless I can find myself a decent quality compound bow, it's pretty much my go-to weapon. Because it's quiet, it's very powerful, and if you do get a sneak shot to a zombie, it will one-shot them. Unless they're one of the really big nasty zombies that can, can do a fair bit of damage. Oh, that's a dog horde. That is a dog horde. Now I'm soiling myself. Try get up here. Drop a fence. That might save me. There we go. And that's why I keep barbed wire fences, guys. That would have that, that horde of dogs would have got me for sure. There we go. I've gotten far enough away. Whoa. So few things scare me in this game as bad as, as dogs do. Dogs are very, very dangerous. And uh, what you saw then, that was a dog horde. And they are very dangerous. They come out every six days. And they can be either dogs or wolves. Now, wolves for some reason are a little slower than dogs and they are somewhat easier to escape. We're going to go back and have a peek at those dogs and let you see. Because they, they hang around for a while. Just don't want to get too close. Oh, there he is. Oh! 
Don't know how you found me, bud. That's what I get for curiosity. And that's why I love the fence. Sorry, I went quiet there, but I was busy soiling myself. Get far away from that dog and we'll be okay. So I think that's about as much as I'm going to tempt fate today. Oh, he's still coming. We're getting points for effort. So we'll try and take out this snake because he's going to... Snakes can be cut up for food as well. That dog's just chilling over there. Okay, so snake meat, I can't imagine it would be too tasty, but it is the apocalypse, so we have to... Don't know what that dog is, a bit too close for comfort. Luckily the dogs aren't too bright, if you can stay out of sight... lower. I'm a small petty man, but I hate dogs. They, they're they a good source for leather, but we're, uh, we're full up on stuff now. We're probably, I'm going to call it a day. We're going to head back to base now. So that was a, that was a close encounter there. You can see the, uh, the old uh, fence. Pro tip, always keep some of these. I would have died for sure. Because uh, dumping 15 rounds into the dogs, uh, it might kill one, it might kill two, it might kill three. But it sure as hell wasn't going to kill six of them. So I, I've, I've seen players get wiped out by dogs when they've had AKs. I've seen guys with AKs go down to a pack of 12 dogs. So, you know, if they get in close and they start biting, you can see he bit me once. He took a third of my life. Now, granted, I'm not... Carrying the beefiest armor in the game, I'm, I'm pretty squishy right now, but still, it, uh, it goes to show that uh, the dogs are definitely, in my opinion, the worst enemy in the game, the most dangerous, because there's uh, there's not a lot you can do. If you, you spy a dog a long way away, and you're lucky, you can open fire, take him out with a bow, but uh, really the, the best way to take a dog out is just to is just to, at a distance, snipe them with a bow or a crossbow. Or if you're lucky, if you've got a hunting rifle, that's your best bet. Close range, you see a dog, drop, you drop these. Now, if you don't have a lot of scrap metal, you can also drop uh, the the wooden spikes, the ones that I've got around. Oh, hello. They're in my base. So, you can do that as well. But just be aware that um, the... The ones that I'm using, they completely immobilize the the dogs, the 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 fences, which is why I use them. Oh damn, he's. If you can drop that deer, we'll, we'll definitely get some good food. I should have made a hunting knife while I was in town, but um, doesn't matter. We'll make one back at base tonight. A little bit higher. Waste a lot of ammo here. I don't I'm definitely not wasting a bullet on this guy though. They see me. Oh, there we go, he bled out. Nothing personal, buddy. It's just business. All right, tonight we dine on venison stew. We've done well, so luckily I, I could have made some more arrows, but uh, I'm actually going to use my, uh, my arrows for bolts now. There's no point making arrows for a wooden bow when I can build myself a crossbow. And um, I, I think I have got some 
I've got some supplies back at base. The only thing I don't have is glue. So we'll go back and we'll take inventory. We made it back with an hour to spare. Obviously with a motorbike we would have done a better job. Over there our food's ready. So we might just run over there and have a quick look before we end the episode. So we've got our leather, iron. Ah, I don't have any. Um, that's a shame. I don't have glue. Forge steel, mechanical parts, duct tape. I'm still, I'm still pissed about that damn, that damn blue quality hunting rifle. I feel like a right idiot for, for not grabbing that. But uh, hindsight's twenty twenty, as they say. It looks like I already had some taters up here, and they're already beautiful. So I'll grab all these. So lots of yucca fruit. So we'll do the corn first. And since we've got a little bit of uh, medical supplies in our run today, we got some um, we got some pills, we've got some. Um, and we've also got some aloe that I've planted. I'm not going to prioritize too heavily on planting uh, medicinal plants. I'm probably going to focus more on food because that's what we've got uh, uh, more of a shortage in. Uh, what else do we need? We've got yucca. Actually, I will plant some aloe vera. So it's just a race against time to get this done before night falls. About 30 minutes before 10 p.m. when the zombies run. And I uh, don't recommend being out doing this at night. Uh, I have done it before, but I often will only do it if I've got a motorbike sitting nearby ready to make a quick exit. There we go. So we've got some potatoes, some corn. We're looking good. We've got some food. Um, uh, we didn't find a wrench today. But we did get a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff we really needed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hop up on the roof. I'm going to grab this uh, this dirt, and oh, I'm going to start making it into some some dirt here. We're going to ch jump on the roof, and we're going to start making a rooftop farm as well, because what we've got is obviously not big enough. So I had a blast today. Hopefully you did too. Again, if you want your name on the, the Board of Fame here alongside our friend Russell Graham, let me know, leave your name in the comments, and hopefully we'll see you for the next episode. Until next time, Skill Incarnate out.